สวัสดีครับ It's been a while, so this will be my first video for 2023. Uh, today I'm going to continue on my uh, the second talk on amulet. That means the the first one, which was quite well received, was the first basic talk on amulet buildings, the amulet. So this will be my second talk. Uh, before that, uh, I want to thank all of you uh, because over the over the time that my channel was up, uh, I think although I only have 481 subscribers, so please subscribe uh, to my to my channel and then give me more likes. Um, other than that, I think some of you have actually became my friends and customer over this the duration of my channel so i give uh, uh, i give you all a very sincere thanks so did this uh usually uh sometimes i may uh, 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 you just 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 ignore it because i don't i don't plan my speech i don't uh draft what i want to say i jot in point form before i forget it and then i present it to you so if you have anything that you want me to talk about you can drop me a comment in the comment section and I'll try to fulfill it if it makes sense. Okay, so uh, one of the one of the question that most of you uh, this is the second basic talk. So we'll talk more deeper into amulet, uh, Buddhist Thai Buddhist amulet. Now, one of the question in the comment on the first one was that you know this this guy in the comment told me that uh, one of the sellers tell him that oh what. The, the seller told him that the amulet will lose its powers uh, after two years then you need to don't know, get a new one now if you believe in this shit then if people tell you this then they are not then literally these are not honest people so you have to be careful okay this is all I wanted to say there is no such thing that means those 20-30 years amulet how? you need to rebuy and rebuy again no, no, no such thing. Uh, the ties treat it as antiquities, and then they pass it down as heirlooms over the years. You know, so there is no such thing. Uh, amulet is not just. Uh, there, there are sellers that, uh, there are sellers that misunderstand. They think that you know, oh, you see the monk chanting the amulet, then the amulet is blessed, right? I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's totally wrong. Because sometimes amulet is just a, a piece of a blessing, right? Uh, from the master to you. But you must know that real consecration of amulet is more than that. Uh, chanting, I also have a lot of chant in my mind. So can I do amulet? I can't. So so although I can give you blessing, but who want to take my blessing besides my own my own children, right? So. Basically, amulet consecration is a very deep thing. Uh, I don't think uh, we understand. Uh, I do understand on the surface. Deep down there, I don't think anyone understand. So, you know those people selling amulet, they oh, the monk chant, chanted. So basically, they don't know their stuff. Uh, this is a very deep thing that I also don't understand. Because otherwise, the Thai won't call Jit Palang, Jit Palang, Jit Palang, Palang Jit. Oh, that means the monks actually input some so-called powers. This is called palang. So these are things that we don't understand unless we are practitioner. Okay? But we don't need to dwell into it. We only need to dwell uh, into whether amulet is genuine or fake. That's it. So you need literally need to trust the sellers, whoever they may be. Right? Now, people will ask me, uh, hey, what should I wear? What should what amulet should I be wearing? Uh, you know. Yeah. Now, I usually I have my own opinion. Everyone has their own opinion. But if you ask me, what is this amulet about? What is that amulet about? Literally, you just have to get to the bottom of the amulet name. Okay, you need to get to the. the let, let's say it tell you this is a prakun pen. Okay. I just came to my mind a Prat Kun Pan. Kun Pan, you know, is the general that was living about what five years ago. So during his lifetime, you just have to follow the story, right? You have like if you if you if you were to give, be given a amulet called Pamethorani, 
you know, the Tati Nisan or the goddess Earth, goddess of Earth, where she will, she will always be holding her hair, and then the hair, she was the deity that actually came to help Buddha to flood away the legion from Maya, right? So, knowing this story, you literally know that you wear Pamethorani is to have a blessings to help you clear your obstacles. So the legions of the Maya is represents our obstacle. So having her with her blessings, we are supposed to clear our obstacles. Of course, this is just a blessing. You you need you need you literally need to uh, what do you call it? Uh, have your own due diligence also, right? So you have to follow the the amulet, and then you have to follow the uh, let's say a kunpan. So Kun Ben, during his lifetime, he has his ways with women, with everyone. Everyone is, uh, his, his charisma is so captivating, everyone loves him. So, and he is always, he has never lost a battle. So wearing him also means that we will always be victorious in whatever we do or whatever we endeavors. And we will be uh, good with others. Oh, that means the barrier is easier to break. This one we call Mahasane. Oh, so the barrier with others is much more easier to break. Right? So if you work as hard or doubly hard, you will reach your destination so-called sooner or faster. But you still have to work hard. Oh, it doesn't drop from the sky to your, to your lap. So th this is how we choose an amulet. So uh, if you wear uh, you know, the monk's image, a lian or rup law, or the, 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 the features his image literally we just meant that we hope to have this master with us also in times of need in time of you know there's turbulence in your brain then he will actually calm you down of course this this is just uh, uh, what we believe right so all you need to do is uh, you have to follow back the amulet's name and its origin then you know what is it for like for example, uh, Somdit. So Somdit is you know the square amulet that features the Buddha. So what does the food Buddha represent? It re represent Kop Chakra One. Means literally every every aspect you have blessings, right? Protection you have Meta. So literally Buddha image is supposed to be uh, they call Kop Chakra One. Means all round blessing, right? Uh, then Papita. Papita is a little bit tricky. Uh, usually, my side I only deal with pita that has two hands. Just it's actually covering the face. It's just that over the years they've been used to call prapita, which is covering the eye. But actually, he's covering the whole face uh, of all the orifices. Uh, uh, that one is a bit complicated. I, mean, I the the full text is uh, quite difficult to understand huh? uh, because many pasapra is used. I miss those. Um, Dharma language is used, it's very hard to understand. Uh, so literally, Prapita represents protection and so-called Meta Mahaniyum. It, it gives, some Pita also gives a uh, Surprisingly, some Pita give more towards Meta. Meta means like, uh, people are more willing to help you, right? Uh, Mahaniyum is your popularity increases. Uh, and then uh, it's supposed to represent uh, wealth also. Okay, Papita. So, so these are the basics. You need to know the, you know, even, even for Takut. Some of you argue, should this Takut be put into the pocket? Can it go below the waist? You need to know what Takut you're holding on to, right? You cannot just say Takut. Oh, it doesn't contain anything. You have to know because some Takut is, the yang is very high, so called very high. Man man yai, to. You cannot put in the under below waist. Uh, it's not advisable to put below the waist, right? right so literally, uh, uh, what you usually I advise my clients to you know what whatever catches your eye, uh, whatever you see it in, this one is the one. Then you just take that one. Uh, be it uh, if you can afford. Of course, uh, there are reasons why amulets are expensive. Uh, but you just have to go discuss with your seller, with, with your with your sellers. Uh, some something if you are not in Singapore, then somewhere near you in your country. If you're Singapore, yeah, you can come to me, no problem, right? 
uh, there's no there's no obligation that you must get something from me. You can you can still come and get some basic knowledge before you get duped, <laughs> right? So so how to choose amulet? And you know, uh, for me, I only do this few months and, and I, I can't only I can't play. That's the only one I'm doing, right? And then uh, some more I'm playing pry. Uh, I oh, this is one of my favorite stuff. Uh, I, I don't do many things like those modern day, those modern amulets. I don't want to elaborate. I, do, I don't do those modern, modern amulet things that look like toys, you know, and, and the things that they do so modernly. And uh, let's not elaborate much on this. The, the, this what you need to know is uh, uh, get find some masters or amulet that really you, you take a liking and then you can just... Uh, get that piece and then you wear without thinking too much uh, so amulet price always depends on the market the demand uh, for, for example Ajahn Play now is so costly so bloody expensive because the whole market is looking for it and it's really getting scarce I can't find anything for the past few months uh, but otherwise uh, it's too expensive right? and then it doesn't look nice uh, although I you found some <laughs> just in Thailand so basically you need to know some all this all this tiny tiny knowledge of amulet uh, so you don't go into some place to tell you oh what what usually what they say uh, oh, this, yeah. uh, you need this you need that you need to what do some ritual to cleanse yourself or you you yeah you did uh, what don't 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 think give don't get duped. Right? Amulet is just something that you pay money, get it, you wear it. That's it. Don't think so much. Huh. If it helps, you will realize it. Uh, if you if you take notice, uh, for me, I don't. Uh, I just wear it without thinking anything. But for those who are more aware of uh, things around them, you will find things when it goes more so smoothly for you. Okay? Let me show you some amulets as to you know. Right. So show you some basic one. Uh, this is called a somdit. Uh. Somdit. Uh, these are called somdit amulet. Squarish, you know, squarish, and then there's a Buddha inside meditation position. Uh, somdit is actually uh, a title. It's a confirmant. All right, I'm Mister. Right, some are called professor. Some are called doctors. Right. So it's a confirmant. It's a title. So it's for the highest of beings like the king. Somdit Nai Luang. Oh, your Highness, His Majesty, Your Highness. Then, or uh, like uh, your holiness is also called somdit. It's the highest, highest confirmant. Uh, so the sankala is called somdit. Uh, it's the highest confirmant of the sangha community. Uh, so why is it called somdit? Next time, I explain. Okay. This the, so as long as this is squareish, the Buddha inside is called somdit. Be it big or small. Okay. I'll show you that. Okay. Be it big or small. So just like I told you, Prapita. So it literally, it features Sankajai covering his face. Uh, for for locally, unless you're going to war, you know, you're in the army or in, you, you need a lot of protection. Otherwise, Prapita, I really suggest, uh, my personal preference is always the two hands one. There are four hands where they cover below orifice, orifices and there are six hands, there are eight hands. Oh, I only prefer the two. They only covers the face. Okay. So this is called a kunpan. It usually has this shape. Oh, a shape of a house on the roof. There's a Buddha inside. This is called a kunpan. Kun Pan is the name of the general Pan. Uh, Kun is a confirmant uh, for a general, not the Kun you address the Thai people. Uh, like the Thai address the Kun Lee, Kun Webster, no it's not. Uh, this is another confirmant, it's uh, a general confirmant title. Okay. This is the most common Kun Pan, uh, made famous by Lung Po Thim. What Lan Lai, Lombotin Isaliko. 
This is also similar. Okay, so this is a cockwood pad. So this is the. Of course, this is for a jumping kunyun. Right? And then we have the lian. lian. Today I just show you this few. Uh, lian. Uh, lian features the monk image. Uh, be it tem ong. Tem ong means full body. Uh, uh, this call keng ong, half body. Actually, it's just the shoulder only. <laughs> so it's less the body. They call keng ong, uh, half. Okay, keng ong. Half body. Okay. This one tem ong. I don't need to go so close lah because I'm trying I'm just trying to show you what is called a lian, what is called what is called those different amulets only, right? Huh? So if you ask me, I have everything on my body. <laughs> okay. So you need to know that uh people selling amulet huh, to be to be so called uh to be so called let me find a let me find the correct word. Uh on the correct path, oh, I don't do get to go to extreme. You must not uh, tell you must you must not induce uh, sales of uh, the, the selling through oh, so so and so forth so and so called miracles that your customer has experienced. You yourself have experienced. Uh, you only need to tell them. You only need to convince your client that. Uh, this is the genuine piece then they wish from is done from which year by which masters this is more important huh? if you start telling people you know my my customer got it and he got oh, a lot of windfalls and the women fell into his lap this is like cheating so usually I'll tell people that comes to me and they start asking me now if you are in my shop you start asking me this I will tell you one thing you need to go and create the experience yourself and then you tell me, right? No point coming in to ask someone's experience and then you trying to convince yourself to get the piece of millet. You you need to you need to uh, you need to give me the trust first. Right? If you trust me you spend the money. If you don't you you don't. You, you can just come and talk to me and talk about the, the having you can gain some knowledge on the millet, right? Because I'm telling you I really know about, about all this stuff. I really know my stuff. Oh, this is what I can guarantee you. So, but if you're unlucky, <laughs> if you're unlucky, my that day my my shop is teeming with all my regulars, then <laughs> literally you have to spend money. Oh, this is always the case. That's why you you must try to come when the, when I'm alone or there's what's the one two person in the shop, then yeah, there's less chance you'll spend money, right? <laughs> because usually if you talk to them. You you'll be convinced <laughs> I don't really have to tell you but literally I will tell you go and create your own experiences you don't have to but if you buy and then you, you expect the experience the, the, the miracles to come then don't don't you're wasting your time you're wasting your time. there are things that we cannot explain why it works for us why it works for the people I can't explain so I, do, I, I cannot explain if I can then I'm cheating you right so, if you want to see some amulets, you can go to my website. Just browse around. You can actually click on the WhatsApp or the Telegram there or the email to to to, to contact me. I'll respond because I'm always with my phone and my all my gadgets, right? I'll respond. So you just need to. I, I think some of you actually did that and give you a very sincere thanks, huh? uh, And I hope those things that you took, those pieces that you took really give you that, that, that needed push in your life, right? So other than that, if you have any more questions that you want me to go through, drop into the comment. I'll try to come up with a new video, right? So in the meantime, I'm still planning some videos. I don't know what to do. Uh, I'll let you all know. Uh, the next video, I might tell you a bit. I might just uh, uh, do simple one. Uh, because amulets, I need to wreck my mind. Uh, let's do some simple one like uh, speaking Thai. Uh, I give I let me teach you how to speak some uh, simple Thai for traveling and then how to pronounce it uh, correctly. 
right so anyway drop me a drop me a comment uh, please subscribe to my channel um, give me more likes on the videos and then uh, if you see any amulets that I have I in my in my inventory go to my website Saudi Cup